FizzBuzz program is one of the most used program to learn the process of test-driven development. We use FizzBuzz because the problem is simple enough to understand and complex enough to understand the process of test-driven development. Let's get started. To start with TGD, we need to write test case first that to solve it. So in this case, let's create a test file called FizzBuzz test. Okay. Once we create a class, we need to write our first test case. Now, let me run this test case. All test case passed. So far, so good. Next step is to create FizzBus class. In test-driven development, even compilation errors are considered to be bug to be fixed. In this case, let me run this test case again. Now we got error saying class FizzBuzz not found. Let me fix this by creating class FizzBuzz. Okay, now all test case should pass. Next step is to use object FizzBuzz In our case, we are expecting action to take a parameter of type integer and return output of type string. Now if I try to run this test case, it fails because the method action not found. It take input and return some string value or null. In test driven development, we should write code just to pass the test case and nothing more. Now let me run this test case. Passed. Everything looks good. Next step is to assert output with expected value. In this case, we are expecting 1 to be output for this test case. Let's run this. The fade saying expected is 1 but actual value is null. So let's fix this. In this case, I will just return 1. Let me run this test case again. Passed. So for the input 2, I'm expecting output 2. When I run this test case, this fails. In this case, I need to return 1 if input is 1. Else return 2. I can see a pattern is emerging here. For an input, I must just return the input. Now everything passed. The problem statement says, if a number is divisible by 3, I am expecting output to be Fizz. So for 3, I am expecting output to be Fizz. It failed. To fix this, if input is 3, return Fizz. Passed. For input 4, I am expecting output to be 4 and for input 5, 
I'm expecting output to be buzz. It failed for buzz, so let's handle that case. If input is 5, I'm expecting output buzz. Let me run this test case again. It passed. So for the input 6, I'm expecting output as fizz because 6 can be written as 2 multiplied by 3. In other words, 6 is divisible by 3. To run this test case, again it failed. In this case, I will just check if input is divisible by 3, then return fizz. It passed. I will apply the same logic for multiplier of 5. And in this case, I'm expecting it to be buzz. Failed. We can fix it with the same logic. It passed. Our next condition is if a number is divisible by both 3 and 5, then it should return fizzbuzz. Just written first. Let's fix it. If number is divisible by three and if number is divisible by five, then return this bus. It passed. Now let's run all test cases again. Everything passed, everything looks good. This is our first class program. Thank you.